With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Here, the question is, find the shortest distance between the lines that is given as x plus 1 by 7 is equals to y plus 1 by minus 6 is equals to z plus 1 by 1 and the another line whose equation is x minus 3 by 1 is equals to y minus 5 by minus of 2 is equals to z minus 7 by 1, right? So here as the question says to find shortest distance, shortest distance between these lines, right? Now let me tell you that we know that when we are having lines as x minus x1 Let's say our line 1 whose equation is x minus x1 by a1 is equals to y minus y1 by b1 is equals to z minus z1 by c1 and let's say the another line that is l2 is equals to x minus x2 x minus x2 by a2 is equals to y minus y2 by b2 is equals to z minus z2 by c2 right if we are having two lines whose equation is of this form then we can say that the shortest distance between these lines is we can find by a formula that is d is equals to determinant of x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 here y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 right and here a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 and c2 right and this whole divided by this whole divided by under root of under root of b1 c2 let me write here b1 c2 minus b2 c1 whole square plus c1 a2 minus c2 a1 whole square plus a1 b2 minus a2 b1 whole square right by using this formula we can find the shortest distance between two between two lines whose equation is as this right so here if we compare our given equations of line then we can say that here our let me show you that here if we compare let's say this that this is our line one and this is our line two then we can say that here the value of x1 let me write here the value of x1 is equals to minus of one the value of x2 is equal here the value this is our y1 so let me correct it here the value of just a minute we can write the value of y1 is equals to minus of 1 so y1 is equals to minus of 1 and the value of z1 is also equals to minus of 1 and the value of a a1 the value of a1 is equals to 7 the value of b1 is equals to minus of 6 and the value of c1 is equals to 1 right and same if we compare if we can see if we say that this is our line l2 then we can say that the value of x2 that is 3 and y2 is equals to here 5 so y2 is equals to 5 and z2 is equals to 7 z2 is equals to 7 and the value of a2 is equals to 1 the value of b2 is equals to minus of 2 and the value of c2 is equals to 1 right now by using the by using this formula let find the shortest distance between the lines so we can write that the shortest distance between lines is d is equals to mod of here determinant of here x2 minus x1 so our x2 is 3 and x1 is 1 so 3 minus of minus 1 that is 4 so 4 y2 minus y1 that means 5 minus of minus 1 that is 6 so 5 plus 1 6 and here z2 minus z1 so 7 plus 1 8 let me write here 8 and here a1 b1 c1 so the value of a1 b1 c1 is 7 minus 6 and 1 the value of a2 b2 c2 is 1 minus of 2 1 right and this whole divided by let me write here this divided by under root of here the value b1 c2 minus b2 c1 so b1 into c2 so minus of 6 into 1 that is minus of 6 so minus of 6 minus b2 here b2 c1 so the value of b2 is minus of 2 and value of c1 is 1 so b2 c1 is equals to minus of 2 so minus minus become plus so plus of 2 whole square plus c1 a2 so c1 
a2 is 1 into 1 that is 1 so 1 minus c2 a1 so c2 is 1 and c a1 is 7 so 1 1 plus 1 into 7 that is 7 so minus of 7 whole square plus a1 b2 a1 into b2 that is 7 into minus of 2 that is minus of 14 so minus of 14 minus a2 b1 so a2 is 1 a2 is 1 and b1 b1 is minus of 6 so it is plus of 6 because minus minus plus whole square now if we solve this further so here we can write let me write here that here the value of this determinant is let, let's solve this determinant along r1 here this is our row 1 so we are we are representing our we are saying the row 1 as r1 so 4 minus of 6 into 1 that is minus of 6 minus minus of 2 so it is plus of 2 right plus of 2 minus 6 here 7 into 1 that is 7 minus 1 into 1 that is 1 plus 8 7 into minus 2 that is minus of 14 minus minus of 6 so it will become plus of 6 right so if we solve this further so we can write and let's solve this determinant first so we can write minus of 6 plus of 4 that is minus of 4 so minus of 4 into 4 that is minus of 16 minus 7 minus 1 6 and 6 into 6 that is 36 so minus 36 plus 14 minus 6 that is minus of 8 and minus of 8 into 8 that is 64 minus of 64 so if we add them then we will get minus of 116 right this is the value of this determinant and here this is the value of this determinant and here if we solve the denominator part also then we can say that this equals to here we can say that the value of this is equals to minus of 6 plus 2 that means minus of 4 and minus of 4 square is equals to minus of 4 square is equals to 16 plus 1 minus 7 that is minus 6 and minus 6 square is also 36 so 36 plus minus of 14 plus 6 that is minus of 8 and minus of 8 square is equals to 64 so it is under root of this now if we add all of these then we will get 64 plus 36 plus 16 is equals to under root of 116 right now we can say that the value of d the value of d is equals to here the value of this determinant is minus of 116 so minus of 116 divided by the value of this determ the value of this that is under root of 116 116 right here as we know that the distance is always positive so that's why here this small now here we can also write this uh, this 116 as under root of 116 into under root of 116 and this divided by here this one under root of 116 here negative sign so if we solve this then here we can say that this under root of 116 get cancelled with this and we can say that at last the value of d is equals to under root of 116 and we can also write this under root of 116 as 2 root 29 units right and hence we can say that this is our final answer that the value of d is 2 under root 29 units thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students Download Doubt and App today.